We've now learned that two infants were among the 24 people killed in Monday's massive tornado in Oklahoma. President, President Obama plans to get a first-hand look at the destruction on Sunday. As of right now, six people are still unaccounted for in the aftermath of the EF5 tornado. Officials estimate that storm destroyed or damaged some 13,000 homes, causing $2 billion in damage. Our Rebecca Cooper is in more tonight with how the families are coping with this unimaginable loss. Rebecca. Oh, that's right, Leon. You know, for the first 48 hours of the storm, most of the people here were really just in a state of shock. But now today, the reality is setting in. Family members are having to tell children that they lost close friends, children who should be in school or planning on attending funerals. And many, so many people here are trying to deal with simply where do they go from here now that such a large community has been left homeless. And we've got some condiments over there and some cold okay. water and the ice chest. Well, thank you. Today, as the residents from the neighborhood surrounding the Plaza Towers Elementary School wait and hope to get into their homes, it's the little things that count. It's amazing how good no. a hot dog can taste. And for Linda McNabb with her husband today, after losing everything in the storm, it was the littlest thing she lost today, her cell phone cover, that finally set off the floodgate of tears she had been holding back. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry for you. <laughs> I haven't done this till just now. I feel blessed, but I also feel really sad because of all the, the just everything, and everybody's going through the same thing. Mm -hmm. Sister Samantha with six-year-old Madison, who attended Plaza Towers Elementary, are both grateful to be alive, but now they're mourning the childhood treasures they cherished. You know, some kids are looking for their toys. Yeah, I am too. Do you hope your toys are okay? Yeah. Well, I'm just upset that our house is gone. Me too. We don't know where we're going to live next. As they bond with neighbors they never knew before, Shamila Rahim's family is now anxious to gather what little belongings they have left. Tomorrow, the next day, the next day, it's going to be raining. I have passports, social security cards, all this stuff. It's going to get damaged. Her daughter survived inside Plaza Towers, but is suffering from nightmares and knowing that some of her friends died beside her. She got off of where she was to get the stuff that was flying off of them, you know, because they were little than her. She was very terrified. We just found out when they released the names that one of her friends didn't make it. Now, Leona Marine, you know that I grew up here, and it really is amazing to see the resilience of so many people as they try to figure out where they go from here. But there are so many logistical hurdles. You can see behind me the Moore Medical Center with so many of their medical uh, offices now destroyed. There are makeshift tents set up around Moore where doctors go to try and give people medicine and other things that they need. So they're dealing with food, they're dealing with clothing, they're dealing with medicine, they're dealing with shelter, all of your basic needs that they're still trying to figure out here in the community of Moore, Oklahoma. Reporting live in Moore, Rebecca Cooper, ABC 7 News. Thank you, Rebecca. Hundreds turned out today to begin a macabre but necessary cleanup in Moore. They removed debris from the city cemetery. The cleanup was organized ahead of the funerals for the 24 people who have been confirmed dead so far. Our coverage of the tragedy in Oklahoma continues tonight.